So risk five architectures are set to be the predominant hardware architecture of the future. And I know that ARM-based processors are much more widespread these days, but I think the future is going to go to risk five. The reason I believe that is history has shown us that open standards prevail more than closed standards. We saw that with operating systems, where Linux constitutes a plurality of the servers that are deployed worldwide, as well as supercomputers. When we look at the rankings of the top 500 supercomputers, the majority of them are based on Linux. When we look at the cloud infrastructure at Amazon, at Google, at Microsoft, right? as well as Netflix, we see that the majority of those servers that do cloud computing are based in Linux. And of course, smart TVs are based in Linux, and all the Android phones use Linux underneath. So Linux is predominant. And so for that reason, I think that the, hit, the future, based on history, looks bright for risk five, risk five chips and risk five architecture. The days are indeed early when it comes to this type of architecture, and there has been many comments and let's say expert reviews of this architecture. Now I have no doubt that if Windows continues to exist in this new world, that there would be um, ample opportunity for Microsoft to migrate a version of Windows over to the risk of my architecture. And that is indeed a possibility. So what I think is that whether we talk about CrowdStrike or we talk about the security bugs that have existed in processors. We talk about the speculative execution errors that have taken place, where processors basically um, have flaws in them that allow malware, hackers, and rootkits to take hold in such a way that uh, bring about the demise of information security and privacy. So, will RISC 5 solve these problems? I actually think there's a strong possibility that it could. Because while ARM is perceived to be an open standard, it is actually proprietary and licensed to the various companies that pay the license. The difference with RISC V is that a wider consortium of researchers, engineers, software developers, and other interested parties can weigh in on the development and application, the implementation of RISC-V. So when you do that, what you have is people that may see a better way to secure a process, have the ability to pursue that course of action in terms of putting together better practices, better designs, and then pursuing those designs without being limited to a predefined processor and instruction set blueprint, such as the case with x86-64 or ARM-64. So, let's take a break from hardware, and let's look at software. Software is big news these days, not just because of the possibility that the software we know as AI, but also software bugs. Everyone's familiar with CrowdStrike by now because um, 8.5 million computers were affected by a bad update. So, what does that mean in terms of how we think about code, how we think about
out what is good code.